In today's video, I purchased an epic sealed collection. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video opening a collection of sealed product, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this gold, alternate art, IP Mascarena. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite item in this collection. I can't wait to show you guys and open a couple of the packs later in the video. All right, let's get right to this thing. I just recorded a chicken sandwich tier list video for Ruxin Live. It's gonna be up at some point, but I feel absolutely awful right now. But if you guys are interested in that, check out Ruxin Live. We don't post there a ton, but there will be some weird videos like a chicken sandwich tier list where we tried 16 different chicken sandwiches. Yeah, that's a lot, even if you only eat one bite. Okay, all right, here's the seal collect. Wait, that's not sealed. Okay, it's just an empty tin. It was in there. No big, nothing too crazy. There. Now we'll get to the sealed stuff. We have Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary. Yeah, okay, just, just came out. It's not that crazy. I believe this is 24 packs of Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary. So yeah, we'll probably open a couple of these in this video. They're all Legend of Blue Eyes, so pretty cool. By the way, that will not be the last you see of Legend of Blue Eyes in this video. Then we have some Walmart Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Packs. So I think these usually pop up at Walmart. I don't know if I've ever seen them anywhere else, but maybe some other store similar to that. We have three, four, five, and six of these Mystery Packs. So this will be fun to open at some point on the channel. We'll probably open one of them today, just for a little bit of fun. You never know what could be in here. It's usually like Legend of Blue Eyes or something like that. So six of those Mystery Packs. That's pretty exciting. And speaking of Mystery Packs, we have a Mystery Box, and this is one you have not seen in a very long time. We have, let me just show you guys the whole thing the cyberstein mystery power box this is one of the original mystery power boxes that had like you know graded cards on here i mean i don't know if it's the og i don't think it's the og og cyberstein one but it is one of the ogs so there is potential for a cyberstein in here very very unlikely that there's actually a cyberstein in any of these but it is very exciting to see one of these once again because i used to open these all the time back when i first got back into Yu-Gi-Oh. then we have some blisters and we've got some nice ones here we have tactical evolution first edition there are six of these as well so this could contain the ghost rare first edition rainbow dragon which we have pulled on the channel it's been a very very long time since i did that but it was still an amazing moment. Also, Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom, anybody? Anybody remember that? Also a long time ago, but more potential in these blisters. These will be opened on the channel at some point. And that's not all the blisters. We have one of my favorite blisters of all time. Retro Pack 2, yes. A three pack blister here. You can get secret rares in these. I once pulled, I think it was the Archfiend of Gilfer out of one of these, which is pretty awesome. I think my blue eyes shining might have come out of one of these as well. I can't remember. I think I had several of those. Yeah, I think it did. So you can pull some really good stuff. Yeah, it was out of this because it was speculated originally you couldn't get a blue eye shining out of these, but you can't because I pulled one. There's more packs to go. We're down to the loose packs here. We have some champion pack two, which I suspect these are almost definitely not unweighed. They're probably just weighed in light packs, but I bought 10 of these packs, which is pretty fun. We have pulled, you know, Magician of Faith and stuff before on the channel. You can go check out those videos if you haven't seen them before, but I also have a PSA 10, but it'll still be fun to attempt to open those again and maybe pull another Magician of Faith because that's a very, very expensive super rare card. Then we have a couple of Labyrinth of Nightmare. These feel like uh, they are probably European based on how they look. I mean, they're just a little bit different than the US packs I'm used to. So I'm expecting these are European. We got a couple of those. They're unlimited, so nothing too insane. Then we have five packs of first edition Elemental Energy, and I believe these are hobby packs. According to this number right here, I think that's normally the hobby code. So I think we might have hobby packs here, which means potential at the Shining Flare Wingman Ultimate Rare. I highly doubt that these are like unsearched, legit, you know, completely unweighed. Even if they are though, like it's very, very unlikely that you're gonna pull like an Ultimate Rare at like that caliber because that's just really, really difficult. It's one in 12 for an ultimate rare, and there's a bunch of different ultimate rares you can pull. Usually you get super rares when you open GX packs, supers as ultis, I should say. And uh, that's an ultra ulti, so very difficult to pull. But the potential is there, so it'll be fun opening. We also have a couple of Dark Revelation Volume 1. This is a very fun set to open. These are in those Light and Darkness Power Packs. A lot of really cool potential. There's secret rares in here worth a ton of money. And you don't really get to see these very often. They're essentially retro pack two packs, but at, you know, our version. And we also have some of the most iconic GX packs ever. These are loose packs and oftentimes these are 
you know, they, these are notorious for being messed with, these Gladiators Assault Packs. So I don't expect too much from these six packs, but inside you can pull some of the best cards ever, like Magic Formula. There's a Misprint Error uh, Chaos Neos Ghost Rare that you could pull out of here. So it's pretty unlikely that they are actually legit unweighed, but that's kind of the risk you take when you buy loose packs. So we're going to try it out anyway in a future video, and hopefully we will get lucky and pull one of those cards, because I've never pulled any of the big cards out of that set. And finally, we have a few more packs. First of all, we have have a red banner logo blue eyes white dragon pack so this is a 2003 10 promo pack you can tell because the u.s and canada english edition that is the uh kind of packs that you get out of 2003 10 like genzo 10 blue eyes 10 dark magician 10 stuff like that these are the ones you would get so a 2003 print which is really cool then we have a 399 original 2002 unlimited print it wasn't actually $3.99 for me, but there's a $3.99 sticker on there, which is pretty cool. Original 2002 pack. This is not first ed, but it is as close as you can get, basically. And then finally, all those LOB packs have to end with a first edition LOB pack. Oh my goodness. First ed, we bought a bunch of these recently, so we just have another one to add to the fray. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this one's heavy or not. Supposedly, it is unweighed, according to the seller. So... You know, about a 1 in 4 chance to get a foil if it is, in fact, unweighed. So we will be opening that on the channel as well. So if you are excited about that, make sure to let me know in the comments. We have a lot of awesome packs to open in the future. Hopefully some of these have some amazing pulls. But, you know, they're loose packs for the most part, so it will be difficult. But we're not going to end it there. We are going to open a few packs here. We have the mystery pack. Let's open this up and see if we can get a pretty awesome booster pack okay this looks like not a vintage pack i think this is like flaming eternity or, or flaming flames of destruction i should say we have a uh, dual assemble worm okay i always forget there's a foil in here uh okay it's stuck oh they put what in the world they put okay weird all right oh a cross souls pack actually that's a lot better than i thought this is a 2015 pack i believe all right this is actually a pretty nice pack to get it's about eight years old at this point you can get ghost rares and ultimate rares so let's give it a shot Let's see what we can pull. I think it's three is probably the best bet without ruining it there. Perform a pile, pinch helper. Are we actually going to get something good out of a mystery pack? Let's find out. Let's get that ghost shirt. We have Magma, Dragon, we have Spring Goose, Fiend Grieving, the Fluffle Sheep, Soprano, the Melodious Songstress. We have a Zephra Nui and a Shadal Zephra Core. So no, we did not get anything out of there, unfortunately. Okay. We got to open a 25th anniversary pack for sure. Probably a couple of these will be open because I do want this video to have some opening in it. I know you guys enjoy opening. That is what the channel is all about. Yurabi, we obviously have a lot of packs here, so some will be opened. Skull Servant, we have the Vile Germs, our mail, the Dragon Capture Jar, and ooh, a Fiend Reflection, numero dos. All right, let's try another one of these mystery packs real quick and see what we can get. Can we get an epic old school re- Oh, we did, I think. IOC, it looks like. Yes. Invasion of Chaos. We got a ultra rare castle link right there. Very cool. IOC 2017 reprint. Very cool. Let's see what we can get out of here. Can we get the Chaos Emperor Dragon? Can we get something epic like that? We have three. I think you got to do four and then swap these for these. We have Multiplication of Ants. Very cool. A hero emerges. Be gone, Nave. We got Heart of the Underdog. Chopman, the Desperate Outlaw. Hiya! So this brought us our first edition BLS, so I'm pretty excited about that. Earth Champ, we have Ojama Delta Hurricane, Mad Dog of Darkness, and a Hyper Hammerhead. All right, no foils in this video so far. All right, good effort, good effort. Let's try one more LOB pack here. Let's see if we can pull something crazy out of the 25th anniversary. One, two, three. We have the Furious Sea King, Drooling Lazard, Kagamusha, the Blue Flame, Electro Whip, Red Medicine, Laser Cannon Armor, Emoir Numero Uno, Darkfire Dragon, and did we get something? Oh, Polymerization, which we recently pulled out of our first ed pack, so pretty cool to pull it out of the newest pack, the 25th anniversary. So that is our first foil. That is pretty cool. I do want to open one more mystery pack at least. We did get a foil here. That's pretty nice. What is this? Oh, is this Code of the Duelist? Oh, our favorite set. Code of the Duelist. We also got a Binary Sorceress. Code of the Duelist. What shall we pull? The Duelist shall be coded. One, two, three. Will we get a Firewall Dragon? Not a Rotted. Stack Reviver. Orbital Behind... Orbital Hybr Hydra Lander. Wow, I can't say that. It's a pretty crazy card. Abyss Actor. We have Jane. Pulse Mines. Boogie Trap. 
Ooh, World Chalice Guard Dragon. We did the pack trick wrong. That's an ultra rare. That is not guaranteed. All right, World Chalice Guard Dragon. We got another foil. We're on a little bit of a hot streak right now. Now, I think we need to open a couple of the old packs. Let's open one of the champion packs. I mean, there's probably nothing in here, right? But guess what? This is what we do on the channel. We open packs. Champion pack two. Let's go. Oh, it's a rare right at the front. Okay. Rares can be worth a decent amount in this in these sets. We have Twinated Behemoth and Terraforming. Not a bad common right there. So we got a Z Dork Master Zork. All right. Very cool. 25th anniversary. Let's let's do it. I'm, I'm really feeling an opening. I don't want it to be too short of a video because I don't really like sending out like eight minute minimum monetization videos. I like sending you guys like 12 minutes minimum if possible because, you know, if it's a daily thing, I know you see me every day. Maybe a lot of you guys are like, that's a little too much of you, Ruxin. And Mammoth Graveyard, nothing there. But I do like for you guys to have like a decent chunk of video. I remember before I was a YouTuber and I watched a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, I would like be so bummed out if it was like an eight minute video or whatever. So I don't want to do that if I can. Sometimes I do have eight minute videos, but I try not to do that. And uh, you know what? Let's open a glass pack. I'm, I'm feeling a little generous today with the opening. How about this? Gladiator's Assault. If we pull a misprint error like Ghost Rare right here, you guys owe me uh, a subscription to the channel. And by the way, that's free. One, two, three. Sub to the channel. I'm going to do three from the back. We have, they were upside down, by the way, which is interesting. Gladiator Beast Secutor. Gladiator Beast Battle Hallbird. Witch Doctor of Sparta. This is Sparta. Test tape. I mean, we could get Magic Formula, Necroface, the Ghost Rare, the Ghost Rare Error card. Let's go. Test tape. Come on. Super Double Summon. Magical Reflex Slime. Alien Hypno. We have a. Oh, an Ultimate Rare! Energy Absorbing Monolith! They are not Mesquit. Let's go. You love to see that. The seller I bought from is a trusted seller, but, you know, just with loose packs, you never know where they came from, and you can't really, like, be 100% that they're on weight, especially with glass. Glass is notorious for being messed with. So we got an ultimate rare. Obviously not a great ultimate rare. You just saw the price. It's not huge, but I'm happy with that. Getting an ultimate rare and showing that these packs, the glass at least, are not messed with. It's pretty, pretty exciting. All right, we are heating up. I'm going to open a couple more packs because you can't end on a hot streak like this. I mean, we've, we've hit like three straight foils or something. Okay, wait, is that Pharaoh's Servant? Okay, we have Binary Sorcerers. I might open all these mystery packs because I am looking for a Legend of Blue Eyes 2017 reprint not to open. So if we find it, I'm not going to open it, but I do need it for a video. Uh, oh, wait, no, I got to do four and then swap. That's right. It worked out last time. Okay, seven completed. We have Darkfire Soldier Nubro Uno, the Eye of Truth. By choose where we get that Jinzo, Major Riot, Deep Sea Warrior, Numinous Healer, Monster Recovery, and oh, a Goblin Attack Force. We'll take it. Ultra rare Goblin Attack Force. Cool to see that 2300 four star guy. We are officially heating up. Let's let's do the last two mystery packs here. I just want to find out if we have an LOB pack. Oh, we're going to get everything but LOB. This is IOC again, I think. Fright for Wolf. No, it's Metal Raiders. Okay, Metal Raiders and IOC are very similar. Maybe that means we have an LOB on the last one. Metal Raiders, my favorite set to open up. 2017, it's crazy how these 2017 reprints are no longer the newest print. They're like kind of older at this point. It's pretty crazy. Let's get that Gate Garden. Let's get that Picanio Moth, the Dweller in the Bottom. Pumpkin King of Ghosts. Ancient Elf, that was a Ruxin special. Flame Cerberus. Baby Dragon, Joey Wheeler. We got Guilty of the D-Knight, Steel Scorpion. Witch of the Black Forest, and... Oh, a solemn judgment! Talk about heating up in a video! We have hit like five or six, like it was either like five out of six or five in a row or something crazy like that. Solemn judgment! Ooh, let's go! All right, let's do this as our last pack, mystery pack, unless we hit a foil. I mean, if we hit another foil, I'll probably open another one. Okay, this does not have an LOB pack, unfortunately. I was hoping it did. We have a dual symbol worm. But we do have another Invasion of Chaos, which is pretty cool. If there is a foil in here, we will open another pack because this is insane. One, two, three, four. Pack trick is really working out right now. It is blessing us. We have Dawn Turtle. We did mess up one of them. Tower of Babel. Fiend's Hand Mirror. We have Jane Insect Whistle. Multiplication Advance. The A Hero emerges. Metazza the Zapper and... Uh... DD Scout Plants, another foil. Wow, we are on fire right now. It's not a crazy foil, but it is a foil. Okay, Blue Eyes White Dragon, LOB. This is officially the last pack, unless we pull an Ultra. I'm up in the stakes. If it's a Super, we are not going to continue. If it's an Ultra, we are going to continue. Or Secret, that counts too. Tripwire Beast, we have Basic Insect, Dragon Treasure, Succubus Knight, Mystical Sheep, Numero Dos, Vile Germs, Dark King of the Abyss. Darkfire Soldier and a forest. All right, ending on the forest field spell. Very cool stuff. 
but that's the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. All these packs will be open in the future. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Micycle, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.